of the most iconic restaurants in the entire Bay Area was shut down for weeks recently for major updates and renovations. We're talking, of course, about Burns Steakhouse. News Channel 8's Brittany Muller brings us a look at the new remodel. She joins us live. Is it back open to the public now, Brittany? Stacey Burns Steakhouse is officially back open to the public and not only are there new renovations here, they also rolled out a new menu and get this, the wine cellar tours are back. For the first time in decades. This is, to my knowledge, the first time that we've really shut down for a couple weeks and, and done this much at once. Executive chef Chad Johnson says on July 2nd, Burns Steakhouse closed for two weeks for renovations in the lounge and the kitchen, where this space was 40 years old. Uh, technology changed a lot in 40 years, um, so just new equipment, we changed the layout, we opened up a lot. And while guests enjoy the dry aged steaks and extensive wine collection, and of course the Harry Wah dessert room, they come for the Burns experience. Tours of the kitchen and the wine cellar are a big part of the dining at Burns. The tours officially returned this week we got to go inside to see the world's largest private wine collection. It's that whole experience rolled into one, I think, that really makes Burns special to people. And then because of its age and history, like I said, it's, it's just where people locally have come for, for decades to celebrate their important moments in life. So you may be thinking, how do I get a reservation? Reservations can be hard to get, but it is possible. They open at midnight, 60 days in advance. And if you're looking for a last minute reservation, you might have better luck calling a few days in advance to see if there's any cancellations. For now, reporting live in Tampa this afternoon, Brittany Muller, 8 on your side. Yeah, getting a reservation there almost feels like winning the lottery sometimes, <laughs> you know?